Hi guys, it's Lolita Plus Geek here. So as you know, I attended Cakes and Couture, Enchanted Dreams. Here's my chord with Hanuli's The Story You Don't Know, JSK in black. I handmade um, most of the big accessories like this headpiece, my head chain, uh, my brooch here. I didn't make any rings or anything fancy like that, but I did make some. Oh yeah, ignore the dancing. I'm just a huge geek, I'm so sorry shouldn't have left that in but with this video I really wanted to be honest with you guys and tell you my real experience of this event um, and just kind of really share how what I felt so the event itself was really late getting started I think that was kind of the biggest hiccup with this event um, because it kind of slowed down other events and or other other parts of the event which was a little demoralizing but the fashion show itself like once everything got going the fashion show was really fun also this dog was running around and he's super cute um, the fashion show included looks from Hanuli, Fluffy Tori, and Moshi Moshi Watermelon um, I have a fashion show video as well as um, Fluffy Tori or Kwaijo I'm sorry if I get those mixed up um, made her own video as well um, with I think the whole fashion show where I just kind of showed highlights but yes the intermission was belly dancers which they were actually pretty fun to watch um, and I also got to meet lovely lore which was super cool and exciting and that was that was definitely definitely a big highlight for me as for the tea well the tea food actually wasn't that bad it was it was okay here's everybody at my table um, everybody was really nice and sociable and we all talked and it was a lot of fun and had a lot of good laughs. <laughs> but my biggest, I think, disappointment as far as the tea went was the fact that there was no milk or honey if you drank one of the herb teas. So that was kind of disappointing. I really went for the Earl Grey, but I only had sugar. Um, So as you may have seen, heard, or read at this point, the event was by no means perfect, but there definitely were pros and highlights, like meeting Lore and Nunu, Kawhi Joe, and reconnecting with my calm. A lot has happened to me personally in the last two years, and being able to reconnect with my calm means the world to me. Getting to meet new friends and old, whether they were international or just from South Florida, just right, or Atlanta. There were some girls from Atlanta as well. The venue itself was breathtaking and it was absolutely beautiful. It was definitely a Florida, like colonial style place and the vendors were great. From Kwai Joe to Hanuli, Moshi Moshi Watermelon, there were a couple other vendors that were selling some, you know, smaller accessories. There was one girl who had some really great enamel paper. Were they enamel? I'm not sure if they were enamel or um, some other product, some other thing, but I will link to all the shops that were available in the description below. I think though, for this event, it's real Achilles heel was probably its ambition. And while I might not be willing to spend as much money on the next event, I also had a great time with one of my best friends. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. So you guys all go have a great day, okay? <laughs> Bye.